What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball video. This one, we're just talking about some news because or you've seen the title, but we got an announcement, which uh, th to me, this is just super exciting because let's just jump into it. We got an announcement that we're getting a Dragon Ball theme park in the world. So specifically, just to put this right at the beginning, it's in Saudi Arabia. That is where the theme park is going to be. So it's unfortunately not in like America or Japan. It's going to be in Saudi Arabia, but... I just wanted to, you know, take time to go over all the news, you know, talk about the theme park and everything. And also just get into like why this is so exciting for me. So one big thing is that this is something I've been talking about for years, that Dragon Ball should get a theme park. It would be so much fun. It would be so cool. Like just that the Dragon Ball theme park would hit. And, you know, we have all these concept pictures of it. So let me see if I can open this in its own tab. I do have a bunch of other tabs open. We'll go over that in a second. But yeah, look at this. This is concept art. So everything that we're seeing here is all concept art. But just to read, like, we'll take a look at the picture here since it's here. We'll just go through this. So first it goes, as you see over here, the first thing we got is Muscle Tower. You know, OG Dragon Ball stuff. And then, you know, we've got Kame House, we've got Baba's Pl Palace, or Baba's Place, um, the World Tournament over here. We've got Kami's Lookout over here, and there's another picture that gives you another view, but I think Frieza's ship is somewhere. I think that might be it there. there I know Frieza's ship is somewhere here. We've got Shinron. We're going to go through all these pictures, but this, it's looking really detailed and massive is my thing. If this is really what we're doing, this is going to be amazing. And then, oops, here. So it's over 500,000 square meters is what it's saying, which is insane. Seven different areas that go from, you know, Kame House, Capsule Corp, Beerus' Planet. Basically, it's saying it goes all the way from Dragon Ball, like, like all the way from OG Dragon Ball up through Super. And then it's going to have five state-of-the-art rides as part of 30 attractions. So five exact, like, I'm guessing like five, like, roller coaster type of rides, but there's actually 30 different things so i'm saying maybe like going to capsule corp there's like a little thing you can do in there but it's not exactly a ride and they're going to construct a 70 meter high shinron so a gigantic shinron to make it feel like shinron's really there and also there's going to be a roller coaster within the shinron so you're going to have a whole shinron roller coaster there's also hotels and restaurants at the park you can stay at the park and eat there which if you look in the concept picture this over here is one of the restaurants which i think what this is supposed to be is if y'all have played kakarot for example the most recent example i can think of but there are moments where the characters are eating at the world tournament i think that's what this building's supposed to be it's supposed to be the restaurant from the world tournament which is really freaking cool uh then we got a trailer here we'll take a look at that i don't want to get copyrighted so i'll probably mute it but we're gonna look at more of this concept art here so let me just zoom it in actually just zoom it in oh there we go so this is what the Shinron's gonna look like, right? So there's these giant like domes of Dragon Ball, gigantic. You got this giant Shinron. This is another angle from Corrin Tower. And I don't know if I'm just seeing it wrong, but it looks like there's people in Corrin Tower, which if you can actually go it up Corrin Tower, that's gonna be so sick, bro. If you can actually go into Corrin Tower, ah, uh, bro, that's gonna be amazing. Of course, we got the World Tournament Arena. We've got Capsule Corp here. We've got Kame House, we've got Beerus's planet, and then there's another angle for like Muscle Tower. Oh, and this is the, the oh yeah, this is a Shinron. It looks like a firework, I want to say. It's like a Shinron firework or some sort of light show, maybe with drones or something. But yeah, look back here to the right of Shinron. That's where Frieza's ship is. This is what it looks like at night. But obviously, all this is concept art. None of this is real yet, but this is all conceptual. And then this is the official website for the theme park, which we're actually going to take a look at right now. And then here is the website. So, of course, first thing they've got more pictures. This is the actu actually the trailer for it. So let let's go ahead and just watch it here. It's already muted. We might as well, but I get. I don't want to get copyrighted, so we'll just. This is the, you know Dragon Ball theme park. They're showing it off. There's Corrin Tower. See, these are some of the pictures from the concept art. Oh, the, the, it's not the full trailer. Okay, it's just like a little preview, but it'll. Look. Let's go through all the details here. So again, here's more of the concept art. A little bit. Higher quality pictures here. Kame House. So, you know, Shinron. 
30, like, let's just scroll through. So first it's like, it should tell you it's 500,000 square. Um, set of Dragon Balls that can give it there, anything they desire. So there's seven zones based, they said there's seven different areas based on, you know, the fact there's seven Dragon Balls. There's 30 plus attractions, which is what we talked about earlier, that there's 30 plus themed rides and attractions. Uh, there's five world's only attractions set at the backdrop of, I don't know how to pronounce that, Twyk Mountain, the Twyk Mountains. I don't know if I'm saying that right, I apologize. Um, this is Beerus' planet. Um, there is 70 meters Shinron, and it's going to be a roller coaster in there. So yeah, you see, that's the Shinron, you can see the tracks going around it. So this whole area is going to be a roller coaster, or going around Shinron, which is going to be so sick. And then this is just other areas they have under construction. So I just wanted to go over that. That's everything we know about the theme park. Like I said, it's going to be in Saudi Arabia. Um, if you notice in here, though, it does say that the construction is going to commence. So I wouldn't expect to see the theme park actually open for about you know, two or three more years. But all right, so here's the trailer. Let's go ahead and give it a watch. I'm going to just play it on mute because, again, I don't want to get copyrighted. We'll just play it like this. So, you know, you got a Dragon Ball flies in. Wish has been granted, it says. Again, all the adventures across the globe. This whole this whole trailer is in English. Actually. Like, let me just. Dragon Balls with wish granting powers. Yeah, this whole trailer is in English. You know, people got the Dragon Balls, and then here's the theme park. Look, look at that, Ami's lookout back there. Obviously, all of this is conceptual. This isn't all. Like, these are probably real people, but this is all like a set or something. I mean, the guy's doing the Kamehameha, his capsule corp. Has something inside of it. Like a 4D ride. There's the Shinron coaster. Yeah, there we go. They got people on the Shinron roller coaster. There's the giant Dragon Balls. Look at that. And Shinron's eyes glue there. That Dragon Ball, like you've ever seen it. Dragon Ball theme park. Dia City, I wouldn't. I don't. I get. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But yeah, so that's the trailer, and it just it looks so good. Yeah, that's basically everything about the theme park. The rest of this video is just going to be me kind of going over, especially because, you know, one of the last video, the very last video I made actually was about Toriyama. I just wanted to go over the spread of Dragon Ball again, because again, I'm super excited for the theme park. This is something I've been talking about for years. I had like a whole document going over ideas I had for the theme park, like everything. I don't know if I have that document. So if I do, I might add that in at, at, in this part of the video. All right, so I did actually manage to find that document I was looking at. I'm not going to sit here and read all of this. If you want to, like, pause it and just look at my ideas that I brainstormed, you can. But, yeah, I literally had an entire document just going over different things that I think they could have, like, rides and stuff. Like, funnily enough, the first thing I had was a Shinron roller coaster. That's what we had. Um, you know, a bunch of just different things, like, different shop stuff they could have in the shops. Um different merch that they could have there. Again, I'm not going to sit here and read all this, but I just wanted to show that I actually did find that document I was talking about. And so obviously, as you can see, I am very excited that we're getting a real theme park. But yeah, um, yeah, I had like a whole document going over ideas. Like I'm so excited for this theme park. And again, just to reiterate the spread of Dragon Ball. So we're going to start going through it. So if you were just here for the theme park, thank you for watching. That, that was it. Now I'm just going to get into, you know, Dragon Ball.